there's a gym leader in my mind? That doesn't make any sense. There should not be a gym leader in my mind. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Game Panda. Today we are playing some more of the Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke Let's Play. And today we got ourselves a brand new episode. I believe we're making ourselves our way to Erebus Town where we meet Adam. Not sure who Adam is, but make sure you guys go check out the last episode as we took on Cortisol Road and we faced off against Damien, who seems to be more Deoxys than anything because he did have a Deoxys on his team, but I finally found the way out of Cerebrum Town. And it's this little cave here, which leads us to Rem Ocean. I mean, I guess that makes sense, because, you know, Rem sleep and stuff, because this is the dream world. But first, let's go ahead and go over the team real quick. We're leading off with Gary, who probably shouldn't be up front either. But Gary's level 85, holding the charcoal with body slam, recover, flamethrower, and earth power. We got Bubbles at 87, holding the leftovers with aqua tail, play, rough superpower, and power up punch. We got Tesla 84 holding the Delta Typhlosionite with Charge Beam, Flash, Cannon, Quick Attack, and Thunderbolt. Mohawk at 85 holding the Black Sludge with Crunch, Iron Tail, Toxic Spikes, and Poison Jab. Osiris at 85 holding the Spell Tag with Will O Wisp, Payback, Shadow Ball, and Shadow Punch. And finally, Wavern at 84 holding the Black Glasses with Echoed Voice, Dark Pulse, Dragon Voice, and Dragon Pulse. So that's the team. Let's go ahead and move Gary to where Mohawk is because we like to have Mohawk up front. And I'm not sure if we can actually get encounters in here because this does just look like a regular old ocean or whatever. It seems like there's grass over here. So I guess let's go ahead, get ourselves an encounter because why not? First grass, very impressive. Look at me go. And it's a Musharna. Okay. Musharna makes it level 73. Wow. Okay. I don't know why. Wait, what? Wait. No, I should not be surprised, but um, I'm not very smart right now. I should not be surprised. Oh, we got poisoned. Or oh, we got a poison. Oh, oh, okay. Things are just going. I. Oh boy. Okay, so what I was saying. I should not be surprised that the Mushan is level 73 because we are level 75. And I was playing Pokemon Emerald just a second ago just for fun. And I am not used to seeing those high levels. But let's go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball. Hopefully we can just capture on the first turn. We got one shake, two shake, three. Ah, oh, come on. All right, we got ourselves a female Musharna. Not sure what we're going to name this thing, but we got a Musharna. All right, we got ourselves a very fitting name. We got Nyquil. There we go. We got Nyquil the Musharna because it's very sleepy. Let's go ahead and see what level this guy's at. Hopefully he's nothing too crazy. I'm assuming like 78 ish 78 ish probably a uh, slacking oh boy 77 okay oh we're still asleep oh boy here we go slacking does get fighting type moves so i do want to be careful with this i think we go bubbles and then it'll be true on the next turn so it goes for flail okay we should live this we do that does little to nothing because we didn't deal any damage let's go for a power up punch here it's gonna be true on thing this turn Power Punch does, eh, okay. Let's go for one more and then we Super Power. So we take this turn to Power Up Punch. He goes for Flail. He's gonna do a little bit more, but not too much more. Power Up Punch gets us to around half-ish, but then this Super Power should take it out. So let's go for the big Super Power here. And this should take out the Slacking, there we go. If Slacking didn't have Truant, it would be an insane Pokemon. Okay. So we got everyone gaining some XP. Bubbles up to 88. Wow, okay. What else? Do you have anything else? A uh, Hippowdon. Yeah, I think we can stay in with a Hippowdon. I know our defense is down, but I don't see us being it being too much of an issue with us being 10 levels over. Plus, we are plus one. So I think an Aqua Tail should just KO from here, right? And, oh. Oh, here comes an Earthquake. This is going to hurt. Oh, boy. Okay, that, that was risky, but we can just Aqua Tail and finish him off. Wow, okay. I honestly didn't think the Hippowdon would live, but uh, I guess uh, you never know. But that should be the end of the battle, right? I don't think he has, oh, he's got one more, Machamp. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and switch out. We can go ahead and go into Osiris, because I don't, I think Machamp gets like faint attack or something, but come on, we should be living faint attack from a Machamp. Alright, so let's go ahead and go for the big Willow. 
He goes for bulk up. Okay, so Willow Wisp is gonna be really nice here. We get we hit the Willow, which is great. Okay. Sandstorm is still up, so we do have to be careful of that. But Machamp is also getting buffed by it, so we should be. We should be okay, because we are getting quite a bit of damage off, like chip damage. Let's go for payback. He goes for bulk up one more time. Ooh, okay. So now he's counteracted the effects of burn, and his defense is plus two, so this shouldn't do that much. It does literally nothing. He's... I feel like this is just going to be a chip damage win here. But I'm not going to complain, because a win is a win, but let's see. I don't think... Yeah, we can't Shadow Ball or Shadow Punch or anything. He just keeps bulking up. So does he not have a move that... I don't think he has a move that can hit us. Payback, Sand, and Burn. That's all the damage we're getting. Sand is now gone. Okay, so it's Burn and Payback. Which is very... He's got Scary Face. Okay. Speed isn't a big deal for us because he was faster to begin with. But I think this Burn should take him out next turn. He goes for Bulk Up one more time. Yeah, I don't think he had a move to hit us. He was probably just a pure fighting Machamp, but that's fine. With Burn, this should KO. And uh, yeah, it does. Alright, beautiful. There goes the Machamp. Osiris is getting quite a bit of XP there, and we go ahead and defeat this gentleman here. He did deal some damage to our team, like Bubbles and... Okay, Mohawk was already asleep. Bubbles took some damage, that, that's about it. But I think I can go ahead and complete the rest of this route. There doesn't... Oh, okay, there's nothing else here. Let's just go through the rest of the water, I guess, then. Let's see, maybe there's... Okay, there's a bunch more trainers, so I'll probably just go through this route. And uh, hopefully at the end of this cave is Erebus Town. Oh, okay, so it didn't seem like the, the route was too much longer. I just had to battle the trainer and we were done. Oh, you there. I don't know who this is. You must be Panda. I was uh, sent to deliver a message. Adam, the gym leader here, wants to see you. There's a gym leader in my mind? That doesn't make any sense. There should not be a gym leader in my mind. He says you should know who he is. Just meet him at the gym in Erebus City. That's all, I think. Okay. That... Now we're in Erebus City. Cool. Okay. So I think we can go ahead. I'm going to explore the rest of the town and then we'll probably take on the gym, I guess. Okay, so it seems like this guy is going to be giving a bug gem and a fighting gem. Okay. I mean, he said that's going to help us in the the gym so i'm assuming that means that he's a okay so yeah so he's a tutor and he needs the gym and he gives dark type moves and he takes after adam okay so it seems like to me that this gym is a dark type gym but based off of what we know in Torin, gyms are not one typing they're usually multiple so i'm assuming it's gonna be like persephone ghost dark and psychic so bubbles mohawk osiris and wavern will be really good and then Tesla is going to be good no matter what because it's our Mega. And then Gary is going to be there for like switch-ins. But it looks like we're at the gym and I don't think we're forgetting anything. We're all healed up. We're all ready to go. I think we go ahead and lead off with Mohawk of course because Mohawk is our Toxic Spikes. And I have a feeling Toxic Spikes is going to be really useful here. So, oh, who is that? That straight up looks like an older me. Don't tell me there's time travel in this game. Don't tell me there's time travel. Well, 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 look who it is, Panda. You look different. I heard from the citizens of Pyron Town that you finally ended up here. I'm Adam, the gym leader here. I should introduce myself. You might be wondering why there's an actual full-on gym, gym in the dream world. I, I, yeah, the dream world is in my mind and should not have anything in here because this is my mind. Well, let's say I'm just as trapped here as you are. No, don't tell me that this is like a personification of myself and then I've been stuck here forever and this is the future me. Don't tell me that. Don't, nope, don't say that. Persephone trapped me here a year ago. So that's what I'm gonna look like in one year? I'm confused. It was a brutal trap. I didn't see it coming at all. And now I hear Jaren's taken over in my place. He's the first auger. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So I'm assuming that this guy is me from the future because he looks very similar to my character, right? So is, does that mean that in the future I become auger, then I get 
trapped back into my own realm, dream realm thing, and then- I'm- okay, this is too much. Very confusion. I have so much to tell you, but in private. I can promise you, you'll want to hear it. This is my gym. It's a dark type gym with a laser puzzle. I'm very fond of it. You're going to want an 8th gym badge anyways, so why don't you meet me at the back? That way we can uh, discuss the situation in private. Please, I promise you this is important to me. To me? Does that mean it's also important to me and for you because we're the same? <laughs> You've got information you might need. Oh wait, I've got information you might need. And I might know how to get you out of this dream realm too, amongst other things. Meet me in the back room. Oh boy. Okay. Now, what, what is this? What is this thing? Lasers? Is that... Yeah, they're lasers. And what are we supposed to do? Unlock the door or something? So I'm assuming we're supposed to, like, can we rotate the mirror? Yes. Okay, so we rotated that mirror. And then if we ro rotate this mirror. Nope. Okay, rotate it again. Ro ro rotate it again. Did that do anything? Oh, no, we're supposed to get it from one. Okay, never mind. Hold up. Hold up. Do it again. And then, and then, if we rotate this mirror, rotate it again, there we go, boom, so smart, big brain, door opened somewhere, would you like to rotate, no, 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 I'm done, okay, alright, let's, let's go through the first door, oh, that was very anticlimactic, but let's go ahead and battle this dude, because why not, we should definitely face all the trainers, just to get a sense of how the gym works and stuff, you know, alright, so we're expecting dark, Ghost and Psychic. Okay, so this fits the theme so far. Aegislash. So Aegislash is probably going to go for King Shield here, right? No, wait. Hold on. So Aegislash has King Shield slash Sacred Sword and and King Shield, right? Or sword, uh, Swords Dance. Swords Dance. That was the other one. Swords Dance. So it's either going to go for Swords Dance or King Shield here. And if it gets, if it gets Swords Dance up, we're going to be in big trouble. So I think we just go for a crunch. We hit the crunch, okay? That did it, that was a lot. Okay, it was a crit, and he did a lot. He goes for Swords Dance here, okay. So now he 100% goes for King Shield here, right? So let's go for Toxic Spikes. He King Shields as expected. Toxic Spikes still go down. Now he's not gonna King Shield again, there's no way, right? So he's probably gonna go for a Sacred Sword here, right? Now Sacred Sword is a fighting type move, but I feel like we can live one, right? We should be able to live one. Unless he might not have Sacred Sword. That could also be another option. Let's just go for another crunch. We hit the crunch and he goes, okay. Age of Slash down. All right, that's good. That's good. We're fine. That could have been really scary. Here comes a Trevenant. Okay. Trevenant is Grass Ghost. But I think we can stay in. Go for a crunch. No problem. Right? We have Poison as well. So. He's got frisk okay that's not that big of a deal let's go for crunch see what happens this should do about half well, a little over half okay he goes for phantom force okay so here's what we do since he's poisoned he's gonna have chip damage phantom force is a ghost type move so we go into wavern take it easily because we are dark type so we resist and this should be no problem right that was a crit okay i was about to say that did a lot but poison takes it down to like one shot well, there's going to be one shot either way. But uh, let's go for Dark Pulse, just in case we switched. He, we're good. Tremon, it goes down. Beautiful. Two out of three done. All right? Two out of three? Maybe four? I thought I saw three. I don't know. Okay, there was three. Okay. Here comes a Gengar. Okay. So we know Gengar has Dazzling Gleam. So we got to keep that in mind. Gengar also knows Poison type moves, so Bubbles. Okay, let's go for Tesla. Tesla is our go-to switch in. Can always mega dis mega thunderbolt not discharge mega thunderbolt and call it a day right we should be able to one shot it too let's just mega thunderbolt we should be faster too we should be faster all right this thunderbolt goes off we are faster and that straight up one shots it let's go okay easy peasy first trainer not too hard the age of slash could have been an issue but i think we should be fine for the rest of the gym but uh let's go ahead Oh, there's other trainers. Okay, let's battle the other trainers. Why not? I don't think we took too much damage, so I'm not too... He's got two Pokemon, two Pokemon. Starting off with a Star Raptor. Why would he... What? Star Raptor? That's not a... That doesn't fit the theme at all. So he's probably going for a close combat here, right? Close combat, 
not good for over half my team. So let's go Osiris. I'm assuming Star Raptor in this game is normal flying still and not normal fighting. Because I know there's a bunch of games that turn them into normal fighting or flying fighting. But uh, let's go for the Will-O-Wisp. He goes for Brave Bird. This is going to hurt. That was a crit. Okay. Will-O-Wisp comes off. We hit it. Perfect. So now he's burned. Now if he goes for Brave Bird again, we go into Tesla and Mega Thunderbolt him, right? I probably should have gone Tesla to begin with, but I was afraid of a close combat. So he goes for Brave Bird again. We resist. And he's burnt, so we're good there. He's going to take burn damage, recoil, all that good stuff. And then we should be faster and clean to go for a Thunderbolt, right? All right, so we're now mega -ed. And I'm a, I feel like Tesla might just be able to sweep this trainer as well. He goes for a close combat. Oh, boy. Okay, because of the burn, I completely forgot about the burn for a second there. I thought we just lost Tesla. We're good. Thunderbolt should KO. Thunderbolt KOs, okay. Star Raptor goes down, people getting some XP, great. What's next? Gothitelle. Gothitelle is psychic, pure psychic. So, I, we already have a Mega up. I think we, should, we can just stay in, we should be faster, we can just Thunderbolt, and this should just KO, right? That was a crit, and it lived on one. He goes for psychic, we should live. We live, that was a crit, beautiful. Okay, so we know we're faster. Just in case, let's go for a quick attack, just in case if he's got priority. We're good, Gothitelle goes down, we beat this trainer. That was really sketchy. So I'm going to go back to the little chancy person and heal up, and then we can continue on in the gym. Alright, so it does save our progress, luckily. But now I'm thinking that I don't see any more trainers, so I'm thinking that we can just straight up go ahead and solve this puzzle here. So let's go ahead and switch the mirrors that way. There are mirrors down here, so I'm assuming... We will have to use that, but let's go ahead and rotate this mirror. Rotate it again. So now we're facing this way. Let's rotate this mirror. Uh, nope, we're done rotating that one. We can rotate this one. Rotate it again. There we go. The door opened. No, we're done. We're done. And we should be at the gym leader? Maybe? This... Oh, this is not the gym leader. This is not the gym leader. Okay, I guess, okay, let's go ahead and clear out the trainers first, and then we can do the puzzle. Adam's the most powerful gym leader of all time. I mean, I bet. He was the first auger, apparently. So, I am kind of afraid. Here comes a Sawsbuck. Okay. Sawsbuck is grass normal. She's only got two mons, so I don't think Toxic Spikes is worth it here. I think we just Poison Jab, right? He goes for Double Edge. It shouldn't do a lot. That still did a lot. That did a lot more than I would like it to. Poison jab should do get it to a half. Oh, there, oh, I forgot. It's grass type. Yeah, I just said that. Duh. Okay. So there goes the Sawsbuck. Sawsbuck goes down. And we're fully healed back up. Okay. Beautiful. Here comes a Swalot. We don't have any ground type moves. So I think we can just stay in with Mohawk. Because what is Swalot actually going to do to us? We have Iron Tail. We missed. Okay, that's... Not what I want to see, Mohawk. He goes for Ring Out. Should... Yeah, nothing. That does nothing. Okay. And then... Iron Tail again? We hit. Thank you. Gets it to around half and his defense fell. Okay. So now that its defense fell, I think we can go for Crunch and not worry about missing. And then we should be fine. Right? Just in case if this thing's got something crazy, you never know. Oh my god. We almost KO'd. It was so close. Okay. That's fine. It's just ringing out. Ring out's not a great move by any stretch of the imagination. We should be fine with a crunch and get back to full health, right? 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 Mohawk up to 86. That's pretty nice. Okay, we don't get the black sludge because the battle ended. There's one more trainer I saw over here. Let's just go ahead and battle her. Oh, okay. We guess we can just walk right past you. Uh, did you know that dark type is better understood as dirty fighting? Okay, it's it's about fighting dishonorably. That's why Thief and Foul Play are dark type moves. That's actually pretty interesting. Never heard that take before. I usually just think of darkness as evil. Here comes a Skarmory. She had three mons on the Skarmory. Okay, so I was going to set up Toxic Spikes, but I feel like this Skarmory is just a setup mon. So I kind of want to just go for Crunch. He goes for Autonomize. Okay, he was already faster than us, so it's not the biggest of deal. 
We go for the crunch. That does little to nothing, but we did get the defense drop. Which is kind of big. So I kind of want to go for crunch again, see how much this does. He goes for autonomize again. He's now plus four. Which still wasn't the biggest of deals. That was a crit and it did a lot. So I think if we go for a crunch again, because what is this Skarmory actually going to do to us? He goes for metal sound. Now we have to switch if we don't KO here. We KO with a crit. I think the K crit did matter, but I'm not going to complain. Here comes a Dedene. Okay, we're switching out into into Gary because Dedene is a secret fairy type. Okay, keep forgetting that Dedene is a fairy type. Not this time though. Gary has Earth Power. It's not it's not stab, but it is super effective, and we should be okay to go for Earth Power here. He goes for Thunder. How much does this do? He got the Para, and that did half. Okay, and he's faster, so we can't go for Recover or anything like that. So he's gonna go for a thunder here, right? So if he's going for thunder, let's let's go into Tesla. Yeah, let's go into Tesla and let's just flash cannon. Mega and flash cannon, right? Cause he can't go for any he can't go any uh electric moves. And I think it's better for us to stay not mega quite yet. Flash cannon should be neutral, because it is fairy type. And that takes it out. Okay, beautiful. Let's see, what's your next Pokemon? It's gonna be a Lantern. Now, Lantern's kind of... Kind of iffy here. So we're immune to its Electric-type moves, so I'm not gonna Mega for that. But I do want to check to see if it has Volt Absorb or whatever the ability is that doesn't allow me to attack with Electric-type moves. Goes for Iron Deluge. Okay. He's got Volt Absorb. Okay. So we have to go Flash Cannon. And Flash Cannon's still not going to do that much, honestly. It's going to be a very slow-moving battle. Which one does more, Flash Cannon or Quick Attack? Quick Attack seems to be doing more, and I don't think this Lantern has anything to attack us with. So I'm just going to be sitting here Quick Attacking this Lantern until it goes down. And I honestly don't want to bore you guys with this fight because it's going to be so, so bad. So I'll see you guys once this Lantern's about to go down or decides to attack me. Alright, looks like we're one attack away from the Lantern going down. I did have to use Speed Up because that was taking forever. The Lantern goes down and I don't think she has anything else. And I think we're done with trainers on this floor? We might be. We can go ahead and check around real quick. Alright, so... Oh, there's one more. Are we clean to go for another battle here? Uh, I think so, yeah. So let's just go ahead and battle you. Why not? Any other trainers here? Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. So I'm going to go back and heal one more time. And then hopefully we can take on the gym leader after this. Okay. So let's get started on this little puzzle here. Let's see. So we obviously have to go downwards from here, right? So let's move it so it goes down. Now it's going down. Where is it landing? Here. So where are we trying to go? We're trying to go to the opposite side of the room, right? So we can't make it go there. So we have to make it go this way. Then we can probably make it... We can't go up. Okay. So then we have to go down? No. We have to go sideways, up, and then up. Which is impossible. So sideways down okay let's just okay i'm very confused here i think we have to make it go stay on this down path for a little bit so let's go ahead rotate it this way if we rotate this one this one this way there is another mirror down here that we can make it go up and then it could go up but then how is it going to go straight back up this is this this is going to take me a little bit so we can't go down. What am I thinking? Okay. I gotta figure this out. This is gonna take me a little bit. So, hopefully we can finish this fairly quickly. Alright guys, so we just opened the door. I just finished the puzzle. That took forever. That one actually, like, teased me. That got me quite a bit. That was actually kind of difficult. But since this was the difficult one, I'm assuming up next is the gym leader? Because usually there's three puzzles, or three sets, or something like that. And then you go, the hardest one goes to the gym leader. So through this door, there should be the gym leader. Senor Adam, the first auger. There he is. There he is. But that's going to be for the next episode. This episode was already long enough. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. And let me know down in the comments below. 
why do you think the first auger is inside of my mind? Is he a future version of myself? Because he kind of looks like it, I'm not going to lie. Is he just some random character who happens to look close to me? Who is he? Leave me, let me know down in the comments below your theories. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.